Well, hello, wonderful people. So you've seen the title of the video. You know we're going to be talking about the cost of owning a CBR650R. This video is not about the general cost of owning a motorcycle. So I'm not going to be talking about things like the cost of gear and the cost of buying mods and the cost of getting your license and qualifications and training. All I'm focusing on is the direct cost of owning and possessing the bike itself and how much that will cost you you know in the first year and the second year and so on so I'm gonna break up into five parts the price of the bike first of all the insurance the tax maintenance and servicing fuel and because I live in the UK I'm gonna be talking about these topics and these costs in British pounds and relevant to how much these things actually cost in the UK market but what I've done or what I've tried to do is also include the cost I won't be saying them but I'll have them written in the video on the screen I'll try and include the cost for the US market and also for the Indian market because they'll have a lot of viewers from those two those two places I've tried to do some research to find out how much these things actually cost in India and how much they cost in the US so it's not just a conversion of the British pounds wow a plane just flew over my head wow that was weird it's actually well it should be how much it actually costs to own a 650R in the US or in India now obviously I'm not from the US or India so if some of the figures you see are incorrect I apologize I tried <laughs> let's start off with probably the most obvious one the price of the bike now there's more than one way to buy a bike you could buy the bike on higher purchase or get a loan from the dealership or perhaps get your own private loan now I haven't actually factored that in to this video um, in this video I'm going to be focusing on just buying the bike outright because that's a lot easier <laughs> for me to um, calculate with everything else brand new MSRP in the UK you're looking at 8,000 to 9,000 pounds used again in the UK you're looking at about 5,000 to 7,000 pounds now let's move on to insurance it depends on so many different things but during my research what I found is that well it's a very big range but on the very low end so that's if you are maybe a bit older um, you haven't had any accidents you've got a lot of no claims you can get insurance for one year for about 400 pounds I wouldn't be surprised if some people got it lower than that to be honest now on the high end again if you're really young you just got your license I've seen insurance for about 3,000 pounds a year on this bike and again I wouldn't be surprised if there's some even higher than that tax now again tax is very different how it works uh, for different things in different countries the annual cost for road tax for the CBR 650R clocks in at about 111 pounds every year maintenance and servicing <laughs> now this is another one that is very contentious <laughs> you know uh, a lot of the information I got for this one uh, I just got from you know forums 650R forums Honda forums um, a bit of my own knowledge and my own experience I kind of combined it all together to kind of give you a, a succinct uh, estimation to how much maintenance and servicing is on average uh, for this bike it was hard to find this information out for the UK uh, it, it was impossible for me to find out how much it costs to maintain and service a bike in the US or in India so for this one this is the only cost that I did just simply convert the figures from British pounds into dollars and uh, rupees but to make it easier um, I kind of just tried to find an average service interval where you would service everything at once uh, at one point in the year just to make the cost easier to calculate for this video let's say you're gonna service the bike at the interval of every 12,000 kilometers or that would be 7,500 miles or once every 12 months whichever one comes first and in that service would include uh, as we said engine oil 
uh, the oil filter, spark plugs, air filter, brake pads, chain, sprockets, you know the basic uh, service stuff. <laughs> now if you want to do those kind of things yourself, a lot of people can do it themselves and they save a lot of money doing so. In a year it would cost you about 100, like 100 to 150 pounds you can do all of that stuff yourself. However if you're going to take it to a shop or a dealer, uh, for them to do it for you, it can cost from about £200 a year to about £400 a year to get that kind of work done. Now let's talk about the cost of repairs and replacements. If you're really careful, maybe you won't need to spend any money on replacements and repairs. But if something goes wrong and you need to replace, say, a fairing or a headlight, one of the levers or something, it could be anything, you know, that can cost you £100 uh, to say 300 pounds because some of these parts can be quite expensive and then let's not forget consumables you know that's things on the bike that are going to wear down over time that you're going to have to replace um, especially if you do a lot of riding you know things like your tires and your brake pads you know a good set of tires can cost you up to 300 pounds if they're going to cost 150 each and that doesn't even include the brake pads so when you factor in all of the maintenance and servicing and again this was a very rough estimate <laughs> again there's no real scientific data <laughs> for this part um, that I could draw from but uh, from what I could find and from what I understand in the UK on the low end um, you know you're looking at about 450 pounds uh, in the year but on the high end uh, maintenance and servicing can cost up to 900 pounds for a CBR 650R so again, it just depends on how you're going to ride and care for your bike. It just depends on all of that. And now, let's finally talk about fuel consumption. So, we know that the size of the tank, the petrol tank, on the 650R is 15.4 litres. That's about 4.1 gallons. That's US gallons. In UK gallons, that would be 3.3 gallons. And according to Honda's website, they claim that the average miles per gallon for this bike is 48 miles per gallon. Now again, that's US gallons. In the UK, that would be equal to 57.65 miles per gallon. And in the UK, I found a lot of different figures about this. But I'm just going to stick with one of the figures that I found. Uh, it said that the average cost per litre in the UK is about £1.35 per litre and I tried to find a good average amount of mileage that somebody would do on their bike in a year that I can just spread across all of the examples that I'm going to use so it's just a bit easier to compare and calculate so let's say on average somebody does 6,200 miles uh, of travelling or riding a year that's equal to 10,000 kilometers a year. We can plug those figures into a formula. I'll put the formula on screen. Um, to be honest though, I didn't really use the formula. I just used the fuel cost calculator online. I'll leave a link to the description of the calculator that I used. In a year, you would spend about 660 pounds on petrol. Hopefully this is just kind of like a base average um, that will give you at least an idea of what the cost would be for fuel on this bike so that's the end of the five costs that we're considering uh, in this video right so now that we've talked about the five different costs associated with the bike let's see if we can make some sense of it so what we're going to do we're going to total up all of those expenses that we just mentioned and see what kind of a range we get so if you notice for most of the categories we got a minimum possible number or a minimum cost that it could be and then we got a maximum just so we could have a range um, to play with because you know different people are gonna have different situations and you could fall anywhere between those numbers but at least when you see the range it gives you an idea of what's the best you can expect versus what's the worst you can expect obviously for tax uh, you know it's, it's the same bike so it's going to be the same for tax uh, regardless of who you are and in terms of fuel cost yes that would fluctuate depending on how much you ride but I just used one average 
price just to make calculating it a bit easier so that being said when we calculate the minimum possible cost of owning a CBR in terms of price of the bike insurance tax maintenance and fuel the number we get is about six thousand six hundred pounds we're just using averages here so it is possible that you could uh, own a CBR 650R for cheaper than that but for our calculations that's the you know the very low end of the scale if you add up all of the maximum possible cost for each of the points we talked about then to own a CBR 650R in the UK a year could possibly cost you about £13,600 now you have to remember those numbers that we just mentioned would only be for the first year of owning the bike because bear in mind you have to buy the bike in the first year and both of those figures assume that you're buying the bike cash whether it be used or brand new in your second year of ownership obviously you wouldn't have to include the cost of actually buying the bike itself and it's also important to note that insurance too might be a little bit cheaper especially if you don't have any accidents and you get another years of no claims you know that would also come in handy for reducing the price but assuming on the lower end that your insurance is only going down by say 200 pounds a year and on the higher side of things assuming that your insurance is going down by say 500 pounds a year so again in the second year of ownership you could realistically uh, expect the minimum cost to be about 1400 but on the other side of things if we calculate the maximum cost that you could have in your second year of owning a CBR 650R in the UK and again we've also minus the cost of the bike and uh, we've lowered the insurance by about £500 you're still looking at paying in your second year of owning the bike about £4,200 now for those of you who don't want to buy the bike outright this information can still help you uh, because instead of focusing on the first year expenses uh, of course that wouldn't really apply to you because you wouldn't be buying the bike outright so that big expense of price isn't really necessary for you to think about but what you could do is you could take the second year expenses that don't include the price of the bike and instead you could just add on your initial down payment deposit and just add your first year of installments and that would be your first year cost and then of course your second year expenses would be the same just that this time you would minus the deposit because obviously again just like buying the bike that's a one-time thing so i hope that made sense now what I'm going to do, just to finish off the video, is I'm going to give you two real world examples and maybe that will give you a better idea of a more realistic cost of owning a CBR 650R So yeah, you guessed it, I'm one of them and the second person uh, whose cost we're going to be comparing mine to uh, is actually a very kind friend who without me even asking just offered me all of his costs that I could use in this video so we're just going to call him my friend <laughs> but thank you to my friend <laughs> you know who you are so let's start with me first now again i haven't had the bike for a full year yet but it's pretty easy for me to calculate what my expenses for the year are going to be and i'll explain as i go through so my first cost is of course the price of the bike i did buy the bike uh, cash however i bought a used cbr 650r so i bought a 2019 used cbr 650r and that cost me about six thousand nine hundred and ninety six pounds in terms of insurance my insurance that i paid because i paid the insurance in full for the year i paid one thousand and four pounds 
Now, I'm in my late 20s. Um, I've been riding for six years. I've also been driving uh, for almost 10 years now. And to be honest, with all of that, my insurance should be lower than it is. <laughs> it shouldn't have been that much. It should have been, actually I know exactly how much it should have been. Um, my insurance should have been about 660 pounds uh, for the year. However, the reason it wasn't is because my old bike, my CBR 500R, got stolen. I'm deemed high risk now as well. So it's hard for me to find cheap insurance because I made that claim literally about a year ago. So because of those things, my insurance uh, is a bit higher than it should be. So again, £1,004 for my insurance. That's fully comp. Uh, nothing special, don't really get much bells and whistles with it. Just your average comprehensive insurance. Again, it's going to be the same tax because it's the same bike. So it doesn't matter who you are, tax is going to be the same. £111. Maintenance. Uh, this is an interesting one. So since I've had the bike, I actually made a video about that called my CBR 650R needs to go to the doctor. And I went and got my bike serviced, but it wasn't just a servicing. Um, and that's a base service but I also had to get new chains and sprockets yeah I had to get my rear brake fixed because it had seized up and it wasn't working and I had to get a new rear tire in total all of that cost me 530 pounds and then on top of that you know I clean my chain I lube it I you know I do little things here and there to the bike just little basic little maintenance and serve stuff you buy liquids and fluids to put into the bike you know like your oil and your coolant and <laughs> your degreaser and all these little things that you're gonna buy to look after your bike and I'd say so far in total I've spent about 70 pounds on that stuff so again 530 pounds at the mechanics plus 70 pounds I've spent on other maintenance stuff that's 600 pounds right there and then I'm going to add a future cost in because again this is for the year and I know before the year is up before I've owned this bike for a year I'm going to need a new front tyre and that's going to cost me about another £120 so let's say for the year my maintenance and service cost is about £720 let's move on to the fuel cost so again uh, we can just calculate that once I know uh how many miles i'm riding so i would say i do about 280 miles a week so i'm going to use that figure i'm just going to use the average miles per gallon again considering that the cost per liter is one pound 35 so we can plug those figures into the fuel cost calculator and we figure out that in a year i'm looking to do about 1500 pounds on fuel so when we calculate all of those costs we can see that in my first year of owning the bike i'm looking to spend about ten thousand three hundred pounds if we look at uh the minimum and maximum numbers or costs that we calculated earlier um we can see that i'm actually actually on the higher end of that even though i bought a used bike um you know a lot of my other costs racked up uh, so that my overall expenses for the year are actually on that higher side I'm closer to that 13,000 number than I am that 6,000 number <laughs> now my second year expense um, again like we did before we're just going to minus the cost of the bike so we're going to minus the 6,996 and if I'm being honest I reckon my insurance again, I'm still considered high risk so this is wishful thinking but i'm guessing my insurance might go down by say 300 pounds uh when i go to renew it and if that is the case we're looking at about three thousand pounds or just over three thousand pounds would be the cost uh my second year cost for owning a cbr 650r and again when we compare that to uh, the minimum and maximum uh, numbers 
that we calculated before we can again see even my second year cost are still on that higher side of things so this video has just kind of made me sad because I realize I'm spending way too much on my bike <laughs> hooray <laughs> so now let's talk about my friend my friend bought a brand new CBR 650R in the UK he bought it for £8,499 in terms of insurance now he's in his mid-twenties exactly mid-twenties <laughs> and he has no car license he doesn't have a driving license he has one year's no claim bonus from riding which he got on his CBT so this is his first big bike also he mentioned that he has uh, an excess on his insurance of about 400 pounds and I forgot to mention mine I think mine's like 500 pounds so I've got a really high excess as well but his insurance is amazing it comes with all the bells and whistles he has like full leathers cover helmet cover he can ride other bikes breakdown cover riding overseas like you name it anything you can think of this guy's got on his insurance it sounds really good and obviously it's fully comp from how I'm describing it and he says he got that for 1,400 pounds the first big bike uh, not a lot of on-road experience if you want to put it that way uh, yeah the insurance is going to be a bit expensive so 1,400 for his insurance for the year now again as I said before tax is going to be the same 111 pounds it's the same bike <laughs> maintenance he said he already had a service done to the bike that cost him £123 uh, so I just doubled that because I assume he's going to do another service and he agreed he also mentioned about getting new tyres so he gets a new pair of Michelin Road 6's that's going to cost him about £240 for the set so he had his services and his tyres together for the year uh, you're looking at about £486 on maintenance and servicing and then we move on to fuel cost so he said he does about 100 miles per week so uh, we can calculate again using the same average miles per gallon cost per litre again £1.35 and we can calculate that pretty much in a year he's looking to do about £500 worth of damage he's going to spend about £500 probably a little bit less on fuel in the year so just like we did with my expenses if we add up all of his expenses in his first year again including the cost of the bike his first year is going to cost him roughly about eleven thousand pounds now again that is closer to the thirteen thousand mark that we mentioned earlier he is on the higher side of things in terms of the first year again high insurance to be expected and he bought the bike brand new but here's the difference between he and I in his second year so if we minus the cost of the bike because the second year he's not going to need to pay for that again obviously and we reduce his insurance with his no claims bonus uh, and being on a bigger bike his insurance will probably drop uh, by quite a lot if we minus the cost of the bike and let's say his insurance goes down by 500 pounds he thinks it will go down by even more than that but I'm just gonna use 500 <laughs> uh, that would take his yearly cost down to about £2,000 and to be honest it could be a little bit less than that so about £2,000 so we can see now uh, with his running yearly cost he's actually on the lower side of things he's closer to that 1400 number uh, than that 4000 number and that's why I think it's good that we had those minimum and maximum markers to kind of use as a guideline me being on the higher side of things uh, in terms of ongoing cost uh, and him being on the lower side but me being on uh, a bit of a lower side in terms of initial cost and him being on the higher side but I'd much rather be in his position than my position <laughs> and yeah that's pretty much it in summary I feel like this is the tenth time I'm summarizing this video <laughs> I'm summarying the summary of the summary <laughs> I showed you the minimum that you can roughly expect to spend on a 650R in a year I showed you the maximum that you'll probably ever spend uh, in a year on this bike and I've showed you two real world examples 
of me and my friend to see where we slot in and hopefully um, somewhere in this video there was a basis for you to have a better understanding of how much it costs to own this bike uh, in a year essentially and again just to emphasize that is not the total cost involved in owning a motorcycle there are many more costs you're going to need <laughs> i want this video to kind of be like a forum almost or like a help page anybody else who's willing to share their figures of how much it costs them to own this bike you know anybody watching this video can just go down to the comment sections and even if i was talking a bunch of rubbish at least uh, they could see a more accurate representation of the cost uh, by your comments so that would be awesome if you guys could do that if you didn't mind well guys we did it we finally did it finally finished the video and now i'm gonna chill here and relax a little bit but whilst i do that i might as well say thank you for watching the video thank you for subscribing thank you for liking thanks for being awesome hope this video helps some people and I hope it makes some of you decide to get this bike. But that's it from me. See you in the next video. Peace.